The attacks come with terrifying regularity. Here, in the world's largest mangrove swamp in the Bay of Bengal, villagers trudge through a murky river to net shrimp larvae. Locals speak of a monster that attacks underwater without warning. It happened to Sumitra Mystery. It was an ordinary day. I woke up and then I went for fishing in the river. I was pulling my net in the water for three hours when the animal bit me. It was like a sharp razor cut. I pushed the animal and it immediately took off my hand. I swam to the shore and saw the blood running from my hand. Many here bear the scars of these frightening encounters. National Geographic biologist Rocky Strong and adventurer Fabian Cousteau have come to investigate. Rocky believes the culprit might be a bull shark. Let's go. They set the bait. Why this spot versus any other? This is a place where two major rivers converge. And even more importantly, all the locals say this is a good spot for sharks. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's. <laughs> Something is biting. But the researchers can't make a catch. Well, no, uh, no really even good, good bites. I have to say it's the, the longest time I've spent fishing without any results at all. Later, they're led to a market where two small sharks are for sale. So in here? It's all yours. Unwrap it. Goodness gracious. Ah, this is, this is a brand new pup. By the look of the umbilical marks, these pups were newborns. Male. And a female. To determine the species, the researchers count teeth. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's our fish, for sure. It's conclusive. These are bull sharks, as Rocky suspected. This sometimes aggressive species has been documented in rivers throughout the world. Rocky's theory is that bull sharks develop the ability to live temporarily in fresh water so that females can give birth where their young are safest from other sharks. But maybe it's after giving birth that the females head further up river in search of food, sometimes encountering people. Why up a river versus, say, further down the coast or deeper uh, into the ocean? Because they can because they can leave all their competitors behind and be king of the hill up inside a, uh, an environment that they're very good at dealing with and other sharks just aren't. Both shark and human are seeking food in these waters to help them survive. And that competition can sometimes lead to dangerous clashes.